Thank you. Question out there. What was it like being up there? Uh, exciting, and it was uh, very hot. Um, the stage was was on fire. It felt good. The fans were really uh, interactive, and I, was, I, had, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. How has this been for you? I mean, you're you're in this amazing spot where you've got an incredibly strong fan base, <laughs> okay. uh, but your career is really just beginning as well in a lot of ways it must right. be an exciting place to be yeah absolutely i mean uh the past uh like five six years i've been just mostly focused on asia and now it's like i'm trying to you know break through and trying to do music out here you know um trying to bridge the east and west with my music that's that's what i've been saying you know yeah yeah how has that been it's been it's been there's ups and downs i guess yeah. you know there's a lot of series that i gotta break there's a lot of things that I, I gotta be the first to, to try and, and and see if it's, if it's even possible to, to do what but are I, those goals i mean it, it, anytime anybody tries to do something for the first time yeah. it seems like an impossible task or an uphill yeah. battle what is the goal the goal for me is just i feel like um when you talk about like say like 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 movie uh, like actors and from China, you think about Jackie Chan, you think about like yeah. Bruce Lee. But when you talk about like musicians, you know there's not much you can you can kind of think of. So I just kind of want to be that be that be that one, you know, to represent China, you know, like a like a musician from China. So yeah. that, that that that's my ultimate goal. That's what I want to do. I think we're seeing a lot more Asian culture break out into the mainstream. You know, yeah. Aquafina is hosting uh, mm -hmm. tonight. Uh, you know, Crazy Rich Asians just did incredibly well at the yeah. box office. Yeah. Are you starting to see uh, more Asian artists break through into the mainstream? Um, or does it seem more possible now than it did maybe see, a year or two ago? I feel like it's more, it's, there's more possibilities, but I, I still feel like there's 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 a, there's still like a long way to go I feel like to be honest like yeah. we still gotta kind of just step up like like I'm, if I'm the first one to step up I'm hoping there's more people behind me to, to that's what I'm trying to do too like just just showing a good example for, for the youth back home in China you know yeah. telling them that everything is possible you yeah. know as long as you, you, you try and and let the music let, let your work speak you know for itself so yeah. so I think like it's a matter of time definitely but I see I, I see a, a great possibility and I hope that uh, it'll come true one day you know it looks like you've been in Toronto for a couple of days yeah uh, you caught a concert in Toronto yeah what caught you were the Drake concert yes sir how was that I was amazing like yeah. I mean it's kind of funny because two years ago I was in Toronto the first time yeah and that was for the uh, NBA all-star celebrity game yeah and I Drake, remember Drake it was, was very cold that weekend yeah, it was very cold freezing and Drake was my coach so I met him two years ago and this time around you know coincidentally he's having his tour yeah. and I'm here for the MMVA so like I went to his concert and then I went backstage I had to meet with uh, my guy Travis Travis Scott yeah. and then I got to link up with Migos and yeah. then you know hit up Quavo too so we might actually be going to the studio in the next couple of days to work on some really yeah what is amazing to me about all the uh, performance you just mentioned is how all of them really kind of started as underdogs it's really hard to explain to people now because Drake is so big but mm -hmm. nobody took Drake seriously even in oh, yeah. in, in Toronto yeah. when, when he first started yeah yeah absolutely I mean I you start as an actor you know like and, yeah. and then you want to do rap music it's the same thing for me too because I I was like pretty deep into uh, acting too like for the past like two three years you know like and and now I'm trying to you know um, really serious and focused on my music but you know even back home for me a lot of people don't believe it they're like right. what's this guy doing you know it's, right. it's just I feel like it's just a matter of time and it's just gotta you just gotta prove, prove it you know you just gotta prove it to them and then you just gotta do it step by step you gotta be patient you can't you can't be like you can't rush it there's nothing you know that, that you can achieve in one day yeah. Good for you, man. well I wish you all the best of luck thank you appreciate congratulations it. good right. to see you bro thank, thank you. you very much yeah.